Hi there, Emily Holzberger here from Institute of Sports and Spines, continuing on with our video series. So we had a great question from Sam asking about foam rolling techniques for the upper limb and the lower limb. So we don't have time to go through all the different foam rolling exercises for our upper and lower limb. Uh, so today I'll just be demonstrating the technique that we want to be using for most of our foam rolling exercises. So I'm going to be foam rolling my calves today. I'm going to straighten my legs out, cross one leg over the other. I'm focusing most of my weight on my left hand side. So I'm starting from the insertion point of the muscle up below the base of the knee here, lifting my body weight up, slowly coming down to the base of my ankle and then going back the other direction. So really important when we foam roll that we are moving nice and slowly. A lot of people move much too quick and we're not really going to achieve the uh, muscle relaxation if we do it that way. We want to make sure that we're not actually crossing over the joint line. So if we don't really foam roll our joints per se, uh, it's not going to have uh, a good result. We can put a bit too much pressure on the joint there. Uh, for some exercises, you might be putting the foam roller on your spine, uh, but with that one, we do recommend that you get some coaching rather than just giving it a crack at home. So that's really important that we move nice and slowly. We're not crossing over the joint lines. Sometimes foam rolling can be very painful if the muscles are stiff or sore. So you might want to use another technique so we're not putting as much load on. So for example, for my calf, I'll just straighten my leg out and just give myself a bit of support with my other support leg there to take uh, my body weight off that left leg a touch. So foam rolling is one release technique here. We do use it a little bit at Institute of Sports and Spines. We find that it works for some clients, but not everyone. We're all individual and have different techniques that work better for releasing our muscles off and reducing pain. So we do always recommend that you come in, get an assessment, and then your therapist can let you know what the best release technique is for you.